still technically have not really decided the controversy of whether s'mores are overrated or oh, underrated. Oh, I think so they're good. To, they're delicious. We'll see. We no, have no, no. Up to it. Eduardo, you say it. I'm not a fan. Exactly. Uh, Eduardo we kind took a of. Pool. I know, but Eduardo kind of tipped it, but it wasn't 100% clear. No, guess what? It was. Can I. Quite honestly, all riffing aside, with that assembled group of crew, the people that were there, most people were underwhelmed by the concept of a s'more. Seriously, that's true. I just edited that episode, and it was pretty much 50 50 until Eduardo weighed in and kind of skewed it to that they are overrated. But it Whoa. was close. Most of the people who liked it, though, connected with a nice, happy experience. So maybe you just haven't had any happy experiences. <laughs> no, I, I think, again, I'll go back to it. S'mores are all about, given that we're here around a campfire and no one brought a decent treat, this will do. I think s'mores survive in the national consciousness because people are grading on a curve. They're saying, given that all we have are some old crackers yeah. and some uh, not terrific chocolate Oof. and some marshmallows, a very inferior treat, and some sticks, uh, this isn't bad. I have to agree. Yes, yeah. that is what we're talking about with s'mores. I highly disagree. I just think you can make it exactly the way you want it. You want to char the marshmallow? Cool. If you don't want to char it and you just want to gradually melt it? Cool. If you want whatever kind of chocolate, that's cool yeah, too. Yeah, but even if you do it all perfectly, you end up with a C minus dessert. Oh. You just do. You know? It's like a pirate saying, has a peg leg made of wood. He didn't even know that one day there'd be these amazing prosthetics. No! He's just like, ah, for, you know, hey, I mean, all your choice be no leg at all, I'll take the peg. This is the dumbest analogy I've ever <laughs> That, that is the that s'more. That analogy is the, wrong. No, the yeah. s'more is the peg leg of treats. <laughs> okay, well, I'm on the s'more side now, what? suddenly. Oh. What? Yeah. Uh, a analogy. Yes, I can't be having uh, aluminum fiberglass and carbon prosthetic <laughs> made with the latest technology. I guess I'll take a piece of wood because it's uh, either either that or tipping over. <laughs> ah, ah, I agree. See, even the parrot agrees. Ah, s'more suck. Arr, I, if a s'more is all we have, then that's what we'll have. But if someone had a better treat... Like a baked Alaska. Well, I'd be first in line. Whoa, what other treats have you had around a campfire that are better? Baked Alaska. Oh, how about the chocolate-covered honeycomb and bourbon? Well, that was actually really good. No, but that's, pre that's prepared. What right. I'm saying is, what do you make with the fire? You're, I know, you're grading on a curve. You keep saying But no my one's point. ever come up with anything well, better because it's perfect as it is. It is not perfect. Amanda made something called banana boats where you split a banana down the middle and put Nutella in, wrap it in foil, and put that on a stick. I would eat oh, that. I would that eat sounds that. really good because yeah. I, I would just eat love that. Nutella. I would eat that. That sounds fantastic. Yeah. Maybe I would eat that. Next year we'll try that, maybe, in the hot yeah, tub. Yeah, but I mean, just... Just remember that s'mores only live on the consciousness because no one had a better idea at the time. I disagree. I think if they were really as bad as you say they were, then not many people would just have complete adoration They do it because they, they don't have adoration for it. It's a false memory. They think they're supposed to love it. That's the point. Mm. They think they're supposed to like a s'more because it's supposed to connect them to this pure American experience out in the woods, and it's bullshit. That's what we're dealing with here is progression versus tradition, and this is the new culture war. Yeah. The war on Christmas, this is s'mores is now the new culture war. No, it's not. I think, yeah. I think you're, that's a very – you just same. elevated this whole no, conversation. you two have terrible analogies. Your peg leg one, your war on Christmas. No, it doesn't work. Well, I'm sorry. You try an analogy then, you big guy. I uh, <laughs> I don't know. it. I'm not even going to think of an analogy because I already know nice I'm not analogy. good at it then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You win. I'm not even going to try because I know I'm no good. Well, I knew even, even if I did try, it would be better than a, a s'mores is like the peg legs of, of desserts. Okay? All I can think of now is a pirate who doesn't have a peg leg, but instead he's assembled a bunch of s'mores to, <laughs> to stack them, and he's trying to support his body on the s'mores. And then he just he puts goes, his foot in the fire. He, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's standing too close to a fire, and he's like, Havas, he swabs! Hi! And he falls over. <laughs> I'm delicious. <laughs> I, I just am ate, delicious. I just ate me leg, and it's underwhelming. <laughs> <laughs>